Hi, my name is Noah Schumacher. I'm a new solution consultant here at Renzen House, and today I'm with... I'm Quinn Mendick. I am the Smart Components Solution Consultant here. Why are we here today, Quinn? So we're here today to demonstrate how to configure a safety relay. And I chose this as our first topic because this is one of the most common questions I still get from our customers today. What needs configured on a GuardMaster safety relay? So the first thing you'll have to configure is the reset, whether you want automatic or manual, like that. And then there's a couple other things that could need configured um, depending on the relay you have. So you can either configure the safety inputs or if you have a time delay relay or something, you can configure the time. Which safety relay are we using today? Today we're demonstrating the DI safety relay, which stands for dual input. Um, this is the most versatile GuardMaster safety relay in the lineup because it can do two separate dual channel inputs um, in one 22 and a half millimeter wide housing. So this is definitely our most popular um, safety relay and the one we sell the most of. Awesome. Let's dive into the demo. Let's do it. So here's the DI safety relay we're going to be configuring today. First thing you want to do with the power off is make sure this dial is set to zero. That means the safety relay is in configuration mode. So once you confirm this is set to zero, you can power on your safety relay. You'll see here this power fault LED will go from green to red flashing. Once it's flashing red, that means you can configure your safety relay. For this application, we're going to go to dial setting 2, which means if either one of my e-stops is pressed, it will shut the machine down. And there is also a manual reset button as well. So that's what input 2 means. So right here on this input 1 LED, you can see it's flashing twice. That is confirmation of your dial setting down here. If I were to set this to dial setting six, this input LED would flash six times. So I've confirmed I'm in dial setting two. Now all I need to do is power cycle the safety relay one more time in order for that configuration to save. So once all these input LEDs, all these LEDs on the front of the safety relay go out, you're good to apply power again. Once it's done thinking, you can see that both of our inputs are solid, which is good, and our output's flashing, meaning that it needs to be reset. So once I hit the reset button, you can see the output LED went solid. So now if we want to check, make sure this is lined up correctly and configured correctly, we can hit our e-stop one, drops out the input one LED and the output LED, which basically puts our machine in a safe state. I reset the e-stop. Hit the reset button, try e-stop two, same thing there. Drops out our input two and drops out our output. Reset, now the machine's ready to be restarted. If at any point you need to reconfigure your safety relay, you just start those that four-step configuration process from the beginning. Awesome. After that demonstration, I feel confident that I could set up a GuardMaster safety relay all on my own. No problem. That was the point. We wanted someone who had no experience to be able to learn how to do this after watching this short video. Wow!